Hello, this is a really basic video, a really quick video about using Genesis Simple Hooks plugin. It only works on the Genesis framework. So first of all, what you need to do is look at your website and decide the place on your website where you want to place some content. I want to place some content here. So in order to find a hook that I can use using the Simple Hooks plugin, which I've already installed, Genesis Simple Hooks, I need to go to genesistutorials.com visual hook guide. I then find a hook on this page, there are 50 hooks listed. So I look through the list of hooks and choose the hook I want to use. I want to use Genesis before header. So I copy the name of the hook, I go back to my WordPress dashboard, go to Genesis, simple hooks, and just face <laughs> search. I'm using the uh, Firefox search tool here. It's built into Firefox. Search for the hook I've, I've chosen, Genesis before header. I then need some code to paste into this hook. So I've got some HTML here. Paste that into simple hooks. Just paste that into the text box. Click the Save Changes button. And now I've got some text now in here, but I want to style it. So, and I, I need some CSS, which I've already, already written. So this is the CSS that goes with the, uh, the code I've just made. So copy that, and I'm going to put that in um, to go to your dashboard, WordPress dashboard, appearance, editor, look for style sheet, style CSS. Make sure that you're using style sheet, style CSS. Well, I'm using a Studio Press theme, and most Studio Press themes have got style CSS. But you want to put it in the style sheet, that's the important bit. So we paste our CSS code in there. I've just put things like uh, background colour and um, font size, things like that. So we update that. Now, we go back. This has been styled, so it'll look differently. There we go. So, that's all we've done. I installed simple hooks. I went to Genesis Tutorials Visual Hook Guide and I found the hook I wanted to use. I want to use this hook but there are 50 hooks to choose from. I then went back to Simple Hooks, found that hook, or the box for that hook because there are 50 boxes here and I had to find the right box I wanted to use to position my code in the right place. Pasted my code in, I added a class to the, to the HTML, I've got a div class and you've got to give your class a unique name so it doesn't clash with anything else. And because we've got a, we've wrapped the HTML in a class, a div with a class, we could then add styles to our style sheet. And then we saved everything and we got this bit of content on the page. Well, I'm trying to keep this video as short as I possibly can, so I'll leave it there. Bye for now.